Hi there, this is Panigal and welcome in my studio. First of all, thanks to Andrew Hu Wang and Endorphins for sending me their new pedal Ghost. It's a multi-effects device, which is great for designing unusual sounds. But as usual, they don't have any say in the contents of this video. This pedal already exists in module form for Eurex systems, which I explored in this video for an in-depth sound design session. Today I'd like to show you some of my favorite features of the pedal version, like the unique routing possibilities, the intuitive LED system, the assignable tab foot switch, and how you can use the envelope follower to duck your effects. So, let's dive in. Let's start with the routing system of Ghost, which you can find over here. You can change the routing of the internal effects with this button over here and hence change the sound you will get at the end of the signal flow. which can range from subtle to drastic variations depending on how you set up the according effect parameters. The effects of Ghost are organized in three categories, namely filter, distortion and effects, and those blocks can be routed in whatever order you like. Next off I'd like to show you the LED and modulation system of Ghost, which is surprisingly intuitive. Not knowing what value the parameters are set to when loading a new preset, for example, is often a hassle with pedals, so I really like the system Andrew and Endorphins came up with. Every knob on Ghost has its own LED, which gives you visual feedback on what value the parameter is set to from 0 to 100%. The brighter the LED shines, the higher the according value of the parameter. With Shift you can access the secondary functions and again you have direct visual feedback for the set values here as well. Over here you can find the modulation section, with a knob to set the speed of the modulation and a knob to choose the waveform. When pressing the modulation button you can now set the depth of the modulation with each knob for the according parameter. And the LEDs give you visual feedback for the modulation depth as well, which is bipolar by the way. So when the knob is in its middle position, it's off. When you turn it clockwise, you apply positive modulation and accordingly, when you turn it counterclockwise, you apply negative modulation to the parameter.
In the modulation section you can also find an envelope follower which I like to set up to duck the effect of ghost. This way you can hear the melody more clearly while you're playing and when no signal is present at the input of the pedal, the effect will come back into the foreground again. For this purpose you'll have to set the modulation depth of the according parameters counterclockwise. Last but not least I'd like to show you the tap foot switch, which you can set to other functionalities as well like Hall Reverb Freeze, Reverse Reverb Shimmer, Spring Excite or Delay Freeze like in this example. So that's it for today's video, I hope you got some inspiration for your own sounds and music. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Bye!